Hey guys, what's up? What's good? It's your girl Shakira. Welcome if you're new and welcome back if you are returning. Now in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I created this super neat, super cute band to knot hairstyle. Now this is a hairstyle I used to rock a lot when I was younger. My mom would always style my hair this way and I actually graduated from primary school rocking this hairstyle and guys, I absolutely hated it because I was bullied a lot about the texture of my hair the length of my hair that is why I'm so passionate about what I do teaching you guys how to take care of your natural hair and how to style your natural hair so that you can feel beautiful and confident rocking the natural hair that is growing out of your scalp and I'm also very excited about today's video because it was actually requested so without further ado let's just jump right into this video so my hair is freshly washed Wash, but I do not have any products in my hair just yet so I am just kickstarting my moisture process by adding some leave-in conditioner to my hair and I'm using this leave-in conditioner from TGIN it is my current favorite leave-in conditioner and I parted my hair into two large sections just to make my hair more manageable and easier to work with and because my hair is freshly washed and I haven't stretched my hair or anything like that per se I am making sure I detangle my hair properly before I start styling my hair so for this band to knot hairstyle, I did not want to do the regular box pattern or triangular pattern. Well, I didn't want a uniformed pattern. I wanted it to look more like a puzzle, like lines running from different direction and angles. So that is what I am doing in this video. You guys would see exactly what I mean later on in this tutorial, but I wanted my part to look very clean and very neat so I am using my shine and jam to help me clean up my part and I am using a rat tail comb you guys will see me using two different rat tail comb the first one is just to give me my first parting because my other rat tail comb broke and I'm just using the steel bit of the rat tail comb just to go back in and make my part as neat as possible so to moisturize my hair i am just going in with this strengthening and growth moisturizer from j organic solution and then i'm just sealing in this moisture with the moringa and shea sealant i absolutely loved this product it made my hair feel super super soft and moisturized I just gotta tell you. So now I am just going in with some edge control from TGIN and I am using my hair toothbrush to help me brush my hair making sure it lay flat and nice and neat trying to minimize as much flyaway hair as I possibly can you guys know how I feel about my hairstyles that is what I am doing and then I add some oil to my rubber band before installing them into my hair this really helps with preventing the rubber band from snagging on your hair so you're not ripping your hair out and then I just twist the ends of my hair all the way down so I am just going to continue this process on each section, you know, parting out my hair, making some random lines, using my shine and jam to help me clean up my part, adding my moisturizer, my sealant, my edge control, applying oil to my rubber bands, twisting my hair all the way down. Just going to continue doing this until my whole hair is finished before I start creating my band to knots. <music> I know that you're feeling me. And I be 
I am so happy I got to a point in my life where I absolutely love and embrace my natural hair and I can come on this platform and teach you guys, you know, ways in which you can style your hair so that you can feel comfortable and beautiful as well rocking your natural hair. And I really and truly love sharing whatever tips and tricks that I have learned with taking care of my natural hair with you guys so that you can take care of your natural here as well i know the struggle is real it is not easy but it is possible so now that i am finished creating my twist and i am very happy with the pattern and how it is looking this is actually a hairstyle on its own like i can rock this medium sized twist hairstyle with the random pattern on its own i think it is very cute but we are going to be making some bantu knots and bantu knots they are very easy to create you're basically just wrapping the hair all up and every time you wrap around, you're just going to wrap the hair underneath the wrap that you made before, <laughs> if that makes any sense. Sometimes these hairstyles to me, they are very hard to explain, but as long as you pay attention to what I am doing, you would understand what I mean. Okay, so for a better demonstration, I'm just holding the hair at the base and I am holding the ends with my other hand and I'm wrapping the hair around the base where I'm holding it or anchoring the hair. And as I wrap around, I just keep on going around the knot that I'm creating. So I'm just keep wrapping my hair around and making sure my hair goes underneath the wrap that I am creating and depending on how neat you wrap your hair you really do not need rubber bands to seal it but i want to keep in my hairstyle for a while so i'm just using rubber bands to help me seal my bantu knots and in my country we call this hairstyle corkscrew this is what i know this hairstyle as um, ever since I was a little girl, I only learned it as Bantu Knot because of YouTube. So if you have a different name that you call this hairstyle, let me know in the comment section. Do you say Bantu Knots or do you say Corkscrew like us? Or do you have some other name that you call this hairstyle? That would be so much fun to read. So let me know in the comment section below. So now that I am finished with my hairstyle, I am just going in with this growth plus oil from J Organic Solution just to help me moisturize my scalp, oil my scalp and help to promote some growth while it is in this protective hairstyle. So this is the final look guys. I really hope you like this video, this tutorial. I absolutely love the outcome of this hairstyle. So big up to the person who requested this tutorial. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe to be part of this positive community hit the bell to be notified every time i post really cute protective hairstyles like this one comment down below and let me know what hairstyles you would like to see me create and also share if you know it will be helpful to someone else i love you guys and appreciate you guys so much for watching and i will see you in the next video bye Baby, make you ginger, make you